Today we learn how to make a task in STAD Pro. This is our problem. This is a stress having two load 50 kN and 30 kN which simply supported these are these members now we how we can solve this problem in stat pro first we start stat pro click on new project and uh, click on trust the file name is dress exercise one and uh, we choose unit for length is meter and unit for force is kilometer and uh, from here we save the file anywhere we save this dd folder in desktop ok and click on next and here click automatically add beam and then we click on finish now what we do you will see here In this problem we have a three member of each member having three meter length. First we made this three meter length. There are many options we make a member. It's just way to draw a member of this grid. This grid automatically on. Here you see the grid panel is 1 meter and this is 10 meter panel and we need 3 member 3 member of each 3 meter we click 0 3 then click on 6 then click on 9 and then we cancel this grid now we get a 3 member of 3 meter length after that what we need we need a 4 meter here 4 meter and 3 meter member vertical mm. then we click on this node and click on this tool and this is y direction so we click on y direction and we need 4 meter length member click on link I click OK. This is 4 meter member. Now we want here 3 meter member. Check it here 3 meter member. So we click this node and again we use this tool and Y direction here 3 meter and link and then OK. This is 3 meter. Now what we do we need this member. So we uh, easily make this member by this add beam tool. Click on add beam tool and click that node and that node. That node and that node. That node and that node. And that node. And that node. That node. This is the truss. After that, what we need? We need supports. Click on this general and then support. Create a pin support and a roller support. For roller support we go on this tab fix but and we release all except FY. This is roller support. Now we click on this support pin support and click on use cursor to assign and click on assign and click here support where we need. Now we click support 3, this is roller support and click here. Now we get the, we provide the supports. After that we need 
this member have length but this member have not a cross section so we need a cross section section of this materials so how we provide the material and cross section we click on properties and go on section database and here you click uh, on Indian then you get angle any angle IAS 30 by 30 by 3 and add material is steel and click add and close then we assign this assign to view this is my truss now you check in 3d render the render check here this is a truss made of angle is 30 by 30 by 3 now next step is to applying load uh, what we do for load click on load and definition click here load case detail then click add click here dead load click here dead load dead load and click on add it works now click on dead load and click add and click on node load node member load because we apply a load at node this is node this is node this, this is member if we want to apply load here from here to here then we select the member load but we apply the load at this node so we choose node load and click node and direction is y f y click on minus 50 minus is downward direction and add and minus 30 and close now apply 50 kilo newton as a cursor use cursor to assign assign and click here and 30 kilo newton here now you see here the load line is too long there is no effect on the result due to this line but we if we need to short this line we go on this scales here is a point force apply immediately and you sorry increase the point load and ok now your trace is complete now we analyze this structure click on analyze and print all add close and analyze and then click on post processing ok full screen here you see the green line is deflected shape and black line is original shape this is shear force this is shear force bending moment this is a reaction Thank you guys for any probe, any query. If you want to learn stat pro, subscribe my channel. Thank you guys.